In this video session, I want to walk you through how to add your CSS code to those specific elements with inside your HTML page. So the first thing we want to do is we actually need to associate the styles page to our HTML. And what we're going to do is create an external link. And for sake of time, because I'm in Dreamweaver, I'm just going to go ahead and do that using its tools. Inside my CSS styles panel or my window, if you don't have it open, you can always go up to window, drop down to your CSS styles. I'm going to click on this hyperlink inside just beneath the properties or basically at the bottom of your CSS styles window. So I'm going to click on that hyperlink and I'm going to choose the file that needs to be associated with. Hit open and I'm going to choose to link because this will be an external CSS. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see that it's already begun to apply some of the effects, but it doesn't have all of them. So let's see what effects it is applying. So inside Dreamweaver, what you'll notice is if you have an external style sheet associated with it, it pops up here right next to the source code. Let's click on the styles.css. So what it's automatically applying is basically applying the common HTML tags because those are the ones it can easily read. So for example, it has a body background color of gray, which we see. It has a font family of Arial, Helvetica, and Sans Serif, which is right there. And we also have our other HTML tags, paragraph and unordered list, both have a certain color, uh, that darker gray, and of course a font size of 13. So those common HTML tags will automatically associate themselves to the proper styles. However, what will not be associated are your identifiers and any of your classes. And again, identifiers are marked with the number sign and classes are identified with the period. So those are the ones we need to go into our code to tag. So Let's go back to our source code. So right up here next to the styles.css, I'm going to click on the source code of my document. And what we want to do is we need to go down and associate first the div ID container. So whenever we built our HTML code, we went ahead and added the div automatically. But what we need to do now, though, is assign it the identifier of container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse behind the V in div and put a space between the name of that and the greater than symbol. And this is where I'm going to type in. Remember, if my CSS style is an identifier, I type in the following, ID. Then I do equals, open quote, and then the name of the identifier. And of course, in Dreamweaver, it will automatically pull it up. So container, and then close it off with the close quote. Now, let me just show you something real quick. If we go back to our CSS, you'll notice the container here, though, it has a number sign in front of it. But whenever we put it inside of our source code, that's not necessary. Technically, the word ID here takes its place. We're already indicating that it is an identifier right here. And that identifier equals this name. And so that's all you have to do. So now whenever we click over here, it will automatically be applied. And let's go ahead and take a look. So there. So our identifier that had the white background has been applied to this page. So now let's go back into our split mode. And let's scroll down here and let's add a class. So let's say, for example, this is our entire footer section down here. This contains our navigation and the copyright information right, right there. So what we want to do is let's go ahead and create a new div to have it. So I'm going to put div, but this time instead of identifier, I'm going to type in class equals, open quote, and then the name of the class that I want to assign. And Dreamweaver is telling me that these are the two classes I have available on the style sheet that I have linked to. I've got the footer and the red bold. Well, this one I just want to use the footer. So I'm going to choose the footer, close quotation mark, and then of course your greater than symbol. And of course, since I just created this brand new div container, I need to go ahead and close it off. So I'm going to find the proper space so that all this information is contained between my opening div tag and my closing div tag. Okay, So now when I click over here, it's been centered. Just what I've declared in my style CSS for text align equals center. And you'll notice right here there's a period in front of footer. Again, that was to indicate that this CSS is a class. But you'll notice whenever we do the source code, what did we do? We didn't put the period there. We just simply put the name. Because again, the class, the word right here, sort of substitutes that period. Okay, So the div, 
class equals footer. So now one last thing I do want to show you. Let's take this particular paragraph and we want to assign it the class of red bold. And so when we look at that class, it has a color of red and a font weight of bold. And again, we know it's a class because it has the period right there. So I'm going to go back into my source code. In this particular class, what I'm going to do, same as before, I'm going to click in the opening tag of the paragraph, type space. And again, because it's a class that we've already created, we can go ahead and do class equals open quote and then the name of the class, red bold. And make sure that you name it the exact same as what's labeled inside the CSS, otherwise it won't work. And so now when we click over here, look, all of our navigation now has the red bold. We assigned it the class. So what do we do if we just have one little piece that we want to associate to a class? For example, maybe we want this web design to be associated with that one class red bold, but not the entire paragraph. Well, anytime that you're using just a very small portion, we'll use what's called the span. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the less than symbol, type in the word span, S-P-A-N, space, class, equals, open quote, the name of your style. So for example, red, bold, make sure it's named the exact same way, close quote, and then close off that opening span. Now a span is a container tag, so it has a lid, it also needs a base. So right after the word that I want to be red bolded, I'm going to go ahead and put the less than symbol, and then close it off with the forward slash mark, the name span, and of course the greater than symbol. So now web design is contained with inside this span element. So now when we look at our page, there you go. Just that one word has been applied that class. And so that's how easy it is to assign classes and identifiers to your HTML code.